most patients will spend three to five nights in hospital after a hip replacement. The high majority of my patients choose to go straight home after their stay in hospital. And actually, the safest place for most patients to recover from their surgery is in their own home. If you have specific health needs or just require a little bit more support, then you have the option of an extended period of rehabilitation within a hospital. Now our nursing and physiotherapy staff at Sportsmed are absolutely incredible. Everyone is specifically trained and very experienced in helping you to recover from joint surgery. Every patient has a private room, ensuite and free Wi-Fi. And patients also tell me they love the food. There is a reason Sportsmed has twice been rated the number one private hospital in Australia. And so many of my patients tell me about the really positive experience they had at Sportsmed. You're allowed to stand up and walk on your new hip as soon as your pain control and strength allows you to do so. Most patients will aim to sit out of bed and stand on their new hip the very same day as surgery. A physiotherapist will work with you every day in hospital to get you up and moving, and also to provide a basic game plan for your rehabilitation in the weeks after you leave hospital. Rehabilitation begins from the very same day as your surgery. Unlike a knee replacement, where patients have to work quite hard to recover, anterior hip replacement is easier to recover from and in general, you don't have to do a huge amount of exercises. I tell my patients the best thing they can do for the first six weeks after surgery is just gently increase their activity levels as they feel comfortable. More elderly patients will require the use of a frame for the first few days after surgery, but younger patients will typically just require a walking stick. It is uncommon for a patient to be using more than a walking stick on discharge from hospital, but occasionally this is required. After anterior hip replacement surgery, most patients are actually in less overall pain when they leave hospital than they were prior to surgery. Of course, they still do have some pain and swelling from the operation, but the severe groin and buttocks pain goes away very quickly. Patients will also notice more freedom of movement in their hip joint quite quickly. Many patients will describe a woody or bruise feeling in their thigh for the first two to four weeks after surgery. It can feel tight, swollen, and a little bit like having a corky from a bad knock playing sport. Now this is very normal. Even though no muscles have been cut, you've still had a significant operation which involved removing the ball of your hip joint. There will be some ongoing bleeding and swelling within your hip for several days. And when you stand up, Gravity allows this swelling to drain into your thigh and it feels swollen. Your body will absorb this over the next few weeks. The golden rule that I tell all of my patients is just to be sensible for the first six weeks after surgery. Some patients feel so good so quickly after anterior hip replacement that they can push things a little too far too soon. It does take six weeks for the prosthesis to heal securely into your bones so there is no running, jumping, or high-risk activities during this time. However, the movement restrictions that may apply for the first six to eight weeks with other hip replacement techniques are not needed after anterior hip replacement surgery. So you don't need to sleep on your back for six weeks. You can sleep on your side immediately if you wish. You do not need to sleep with a pillow between your legs, and you can usually drive a car within four weeks of surgery. But this does vary from patient to patient. You need to have good strength, well-controlled pain, and no restriction of movement before driving. Your physiotherapist can help monitor this. One of the risks of any hip replacement procedure is dislocation of the ball from the socket. But the risk of dislocation is lowest with anterior hip replacement, compared with other approaches that we discussed. For this reason, we can be more proactive with rehabilitation and get you moving quite quickly. You will also require regular, simple medication, such as Panadol and anti-inflammatories, for a minimum of two weeks, and possibly longer. If you still have pain despite these simple medications, you will have a supply of stronger pain medication to take if and when required. We call this breakthrough pain relief. If your pain breaks through the simple medications, you have a safety net of stronger medication ready to help. Most occupations will require four weeks off work completely, 
but a return to light or office duties could potentially occur from two to four weeks, depending on your job. Returning to manual duties would be a minimum of six to eight weeks after surgery, and possibly longer, depending on your occupation. By six weeks after surgery, the majority of patients are walking normally and not using a walking stick. It is unusual for patients to be taking any pain medication at this time. By three months, the majority of patients will be over 80% recovered and back into all usual activities. The final 20% of your recovery occurs slowly but gradually from three months after surgery. You can have continued improvement for up to six to 12 months after surgery. I tell my patients that during this period, they'll become more accustomed to their new hip and most of the little niggles will slowly fade away. Don't forget, we have only replaced the arthritic surfaces of your joint. Everything else in and around your hip joint is the same age as you are. Whilst we can expect a smooth and pain-free joint surface, we can't expect all your muscles, tendons and ligaments to feel like you're 18 again. Now I'll do everything I possibly can to give you the best result, but sadly, I can't make you or your hip muscles any younger. I wouldn't recommend that a patient runs after having a hip replacement, as this will make your new hip wear out more quickly. But you can walk, swim, hike, ride a bike, go to the gym, and pretty much build back into most of your regular activities. Playing golf, lawn bowls, and even a social hit of tennis is possible for most patients. If you would like to talk to me about your hip, then please ring my rooms at any time to make an appointment. If you haven't already had appropriate scans, I can arrange for these to occur before I see you.